The Wendigo GL3 is back in Destiny 2. Previously, it was a ritual weapon. Now, this is available from Nightfalls as an exclusive reward this season and also beyond. Well, today, I'm going to check out the returned Wendigo GL3. Look at the stats, the perks, the goals to chase for PvP and BBE. Let's also have a look at how to get the Wendigo GL3 in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Okay, let's dive right into that important information of how to get Wendigo GL3. Well, to get this one, you have to complete Nightfall Strikes when the weapon is the featured Nightfall weapon for that particular week. So at the time I'm making this guide, it's available right now until reset next Tuesday. And then it's going to go into the six-week rotation of weapons available as Nightfall rewards. Now the best thing to do is run Legend or Master Nightfalls, and then you'll have a chance at the weapon drop of you at the end of the Nightfall Strike. But it's not a guaranteed drop from the end of the Nightfall Strike, it's RNG-based, meaning you may not get it on your first run or even your second run as well. I had to do about eight Nightfall Strikes to get this weapon to drop for me, although I was running Legend difficulty... You know, it's all down to luck, and hopefully you're going to get this version of the Wendigo much quicker than I did. Well, the key is to run Nightfall Strikes, beat the boss, and have a chance for it to drop for you. Well, next up, let's have a look at the stats and the perks for the Wendigo GL3. So, Wendigo GL3 is a legendary power grenade launcher with an adaptive frame, meaning it has a well-rounded grip, it's reliable, and it's sturdy. Looking at the stats, we've got a blast radius of 50, 29 for velocity, 38 for stability, 41 for handling, 46 for reload speed. It's got an airborne effectiveness stat of 16. It's a 120 rounds per minute grenade launcher with six in the magazine. Well, this one also has three origin traits. We've got stunning recovery, so stunning a champion partially refills your magazine, triggers health regeneration, and improves recovery for a short duration. We've also got Vanguard's Vindication, so final blows of the weapon grant a small amount of health. And then we have Omelon Fluid Dynamics, so the weapon has increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the Wendigo GL3 God Roll Guide. So for PvE, hard launch, spike grenades, auto-loading holster, and explosive light would be good. So with hard launch, it greatly increases projectile speed and decreases stability, slightly decreases blast radius. Then you've got spike grenades that increase stability. Auto-loading holster, the holstered weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period of time. And then you've got explosive lights, so picking up an orb of power increases the next projectile's blast radius, and also the damage too. For PvP, volatile launch, high explosive ordnance, chain reaction, and explosive light would be good. So a volatile launch greatly increases blast radius, slightly decreases handling speed, and slightly decreases projectile speed as well. You've got high explosive ordnance, so increases blast radius, and slightly increases projectile speed and decreases the magazine size. Then you've got Chain Reaction. This is one of my favourites. So each final blow of the weapon creates an elemental damage explosion. Really, really good with grenade launchers. Finally, we've got Explosive Light once again. So picking up an orb of power increases the next projectile's blast radius and also the damage too. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Wendigo GL3 and let me know your favourite roles. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Wendigo GL3 in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.